I hope you got yourself like a five course meal or like some snackies and some drinks because this is a big haul. We've got 85 and a half pounds worth of stuff from the Goodwill outlet in Indianapolis. It cost me $104 and so uh, let's get into it. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. All Hi really everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on reselling platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. And what I like to do is find articles of clothing, you know, mostly used, but sometimes new with tags, as well as some hard goods, you know, just random things that people need um, for everyday life. And I like to find those things for as cheap as possible so that I can resell them on various reselling platforms for as much as possible. It's what I do on the side of my full-time job as a high school choir teacher and literally the cheapest place to source inventory in my opinion aside from getting stuff for free from friends and family is to source at the bins. The bins are an affectionate name for the Goodwill outlet and there are a ton all over the country. I get questions all the time from people asking you know how can I find the closest Goodwill outlet to me I literally just Google it whenever I'm in like a new city or something. I just Google it to see if there's one near me. Um, the one closest to me is about two hours away in Indianapolis. So it's not a trip that I get to do very often, but it is something that I like to do because now that I am sourcing in a way where I am, you know, spending a little bit more per item, um, I like to mix in things like bins trips or even, you know, obviously getting stuff for free from friends and family because it helps bring down my cost of goods. And if you go to the bins, you know, there are some really great pieces waiting to be found. You just have to dig for them in the bins at the Goodwill Outlet. And I'll have a few clips here just showing you what it's like at the Goodwill Outlet. And it's pretty simple. You just pay by the pound. You pay a dollar and I think I paid a dollar and 39 cents per pound at this location. It varies from, you know, location to location. Um, and you just put your cart on a big old, what is it, like scale. And they just weigh how many pounds your items are and you pay that way. I actually, my total total actually came out to $114 and some change, but while I was at the bins, my cart was filled to the brim with shoes, the majority of which were single shoes, which is so annoying. That means I could only find one of the shoes and I couldn't find its mate. Um, so frustrating, especially because I had some really good ones, including on cloud and hokas that I ended up just getting the single. You'll see them. But um, at the very top of my cart, I had a pair of Nike Air Max shoes and a man saw them and he was like, can I buy those off of you? And I was like, I, like you want to buy them out of my cart? And he was like, yeah, I'll, you know, give you some money for them if you're willing to give them up. And we were kind of both looking them over and looking at the condition. The bottom was like cracked. I would have thrown them back actually, but he was like, yeah, I'll, you know, like how much you want for them? And I was like, $10. And he was like, okay. So I made an easy $10 while at the bins. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I picked up. I did go with my husband and my friend Chiwan. Um, so I'll let you know who found what too. And if I have an idea of what the comps are, I'll share that stuff with you. But um, for a lot of these things, I don't know because I haven't done the research yet so let's just dig in if you enjoy a good you know uh, thrift haul then definitely make sure that you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already because I do uh, you know a couple videos like this every week whether it's a thrift haul or what sold video tips and tricks videos about reselling I do it all so if you are enjoying this kind of content hit that subscribe button so the first piece that we'll look at is just this blue kind of like windbreaker pullover from champion um, champion is just a solid brand right like I feel like it's kind of climbed in popularity um, and I do think that this is like actual champion not Target Champion because Target does carry Champion as well. Um, a lot of times you'll see stuff like this with like an NFL team or an NBA team embroidered on it, but this one is just plain. So I don't know. I don't know how much something like this goes for. This um, is a size medium. I imagine I can get at least 25 for it, if not more. So there is the first piece. And I'm pretty happy because we did pick up a good number of like uh, fall and winter pieces, you know, like sweaters and jackets and stuff like that. Um, my friend Jiwon found this. This is a bag by Cole Haan. Let me see if I can find, if you look on the inside, it says Cole Haan. Um, it's gray, it's leather. It's really beautiful actually. And it's in pretty good condition. It's got this like um, strap so that you can wear it cross body if you want. It's also got kind of this like, 
um, woven uh, shoulder strap. Um, it's got gold hardware. There is some wear on the bottom, as you can see. You can see it especially right there in that corner. Um, and it's on the other corner as well. But the bag itself, like the exterior, it's not that bad. There's like a few little like scratches and stuff, but overall, this is in really good condition. There's like a little bit of, eh, there's a little bit more wear there. The inside is actually pretty decent. Um, it's also black on the inside, which is really nice. I don't know, I think I can at least list this for like $50, if not more. So. That was a great pickup by Chi Wan. Um, I believe she also found this, and actually I think she was gonna see if her husband wanted this first, but um, Titleist is, I don't know, they, it's a golf brand for sure, and I feel like they sell like, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. So there's Titleist, and then there's also Foot Joy, that, that's what that FJ stands for. So I don't know, some sort of like collaboration maybe, but this is a large, extra large. I don't know how much something like this would sell for. Um, you know, if I were to list it, but I do think that her husband was gonna try it first. I am noticing there are some like loose threads, so obviously that would bring the price down just a little bit, but um, considering that it weighs nothing, you know, not bad. So I'm gonna put that in a little corner for Eddie. That's his name. Um, this I typically wouldn't pick up if I were just like at the thrift store um, because the brand is Thread and Supply, which is just like a Nordstrom house brand. However, given the fact that it's so lightweight, and the fact that this is the perfect season for these kinds of like layer pieces. It's just like this really soft, fuzzy, full zip vest um, with zippered pockets. I will go ahead and list it for around 25. Realistically, probably sell it between like, I don't know, 18 and 20 maybe, maybe even a little bit lower, but um, you know, it hardly weighed anything. Okay, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> this is for me though. I think this is so cute. So the brand is nothing. Allison Whitmore, size extra large. This is definitely a vintage piece made in Korea. Um, but look at this print. <laughs> it's like this safari print with like zebras and I am in love with it. So I'm going to wear this. It's kind of cropped. I mean, not cropped on me because I'm super duper short, but I thought this was so much fun. So I am going to wear this. And then if I ever get sick of it, I'll just list it. And I'm sure I could actually make some money off of that. Chi Wan found this. This was such a good find. This is the brand Trina Turk, which retails for a ton. Now, to be honest, Trina Turk, like clothing pieces, they, for whatever reason, don't resell for a ton. They retail for a lot, but they don't resell for a ton. But this is like a beautiful kimono top. It's like a jersey knit. Um, it's got this, oh, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Um, size large. I mean, look at this. And this is gonna photograph so beautifully. Oh, I'm like obsessed with this. So this, I don't know how much to price it at. I have to look up comps. I'm hoping I can at least list it for around 50. But um, this is like the perfect thing too for people who are like traveling to tropical locations. Like, I, I think it's gorgeous. By the way, if you see anything that you are interested in in this haul, Honestly, the easiest way to reach out to me is Instagram DM. So you can just uh, DM me. My handle is the same as my YouTube channel. It's Becky Park on Poshmark. And that way we can work out, you know, a good deal before I go ahead and get it listed on my other various platforms. This is Lily Pulitzer. And I actually think this is a girl's piece because this is a size 14. It's this adorable like gingham print pant and it's got these embroidered butterflies and flowers all over it so that's really cute this is definitely not a women's 14 so i'm pretty sure this is a girl's 14. you know hopefully i can get like 20 to 25 dollars on that she one found that one as well um my husband found this little number and it is so ridiculous but also so amazing <laughs> so this was at the regular goodwill for 450. nobody wanted it the brand, it's not really anything important. The brand is Janssen. Look at this little number. Look at that. <laughs> it's like these people in umbrellas in like a wood, like a forest. I I am obsessed with this. More umbrellas on the back. I mean, look at that. Like that was like knit on. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's not embroidered on. It's like... They had to, yeah, amazing. I think this is an amazing piece. Um, I didn't look up comps for it because I was like, it doesn't even matter. Like, I just need it in my life. Um, part of me wants to 
wear it a few times. I don't think I will. I think I'll just list it. So not quite sure how to list that, but really ridiculously excited about it. We got a few pairs of Wranglers. I don't know if, you know, I know that actually Wranglers are kind of making a comeback and they're being sold at places like Urban Outfitters and whatnot. I don't think these are any of the trendy ones, but even if we can get like 20 ish dollars for them, these are in a size 40 by 34. These are the regular fit, just like, you know, a blue jean, uh, you know, basic denim pant, basic cells because people need stuff like this. I think Wrangler does make good like workwear jeans and stuff too. So there's that. You'll see a few more of those. Um, my husband found this. This is a Harley Davidson button up and it has this little like tag on it, but it's from a cleaners, but that's so fancy. I've never seen anything that fancy from like a dry cleaners before. This is an extra large size tall, which is great. But yeah, the Harley Davidson is just embroidered on the pocket. I think that's really it though. Like there's not really much else in terms of like Harley Davidson insignia on the top. So there's that. Um, I've never seen like anything other than jeans from this brand. It's just Rock Revival. So my husband found this. He's like, this is a good brand, right? Their denim does really great. You know, you can usually sell it for like, I don't know, anywhere between like 40 to $60. I've never tried the t-shirts. I imagine I'll make like, I don't know, $15 off of this. This is a size, do, 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 do. why don't, why don't, oh, extra large. I was gonna say like, that'd be really weird if you had to have a size on the inside. So that's uh, something. Um, my friend Shiwon found this. I don't usually pick up that much kid stuff unless it's really worth something, but this will sell pretty quick. It's Baby Gap, um, 18 to 24 months. It's like the perfect time to list stuff like this. So that's why we got that. Probably make like $10, $15 off of that. Um, this is just a pretty simple like Vineyard Vines t-shirt, size extra large, just a long sleeve tee. It's got like the little whale on the front pocket. And then on the back, it says Vineyard Vines. The print inside the whale is actually really pretty on this. Again, probably like $10, $15 on that. Um, this is a pair of camo print. Oh, I'm forgetting the name. Uh, rip, rip Stop, is that what this is called? Do you see like the little like grid pattern? Um, it's like really hard to rip, which is why I think it's called Rip Stop. <laughs> um, but these are a pair of camo print cargo shorts from the North Face. So you can see the cargo pockets. They do have a little stain right on the front, um, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is, um, you know, we're gonna wash all this stuff. I haven't washed it yet because I wanted to haul it for you because I know some stuff, it'll kind of wash in cycles. Like for example, this stained piece, I'm gonna put kind of in its own little pile and all the stained stuff will get treated. Um, so that stuff will come out later than everything else. And that's why I just figure I'll show it to you now and then we'll go ahead and get it washed. But um, this is just a top for my daughter. It just says Nike. It's sleeveless, really cute, perfect for um, her because she loves that kind of stuff. This was odd. So this is, I wanted to just check out one thing. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So this is the brand Madewell, which is a great brand. And these are new with tags. So here's Madewell. And this is a great size. This is a size 31. Um, they are the boy jean. And um, yeah, new with tags, right? This is what they look like. Here's the bottom, kind of like a nice relaxed fit. But there are like huge stains all over these. So you can see, uh, it's kind of hard to see that one, but you can see right here in the crotch. So at first I was like, did someone like try these on and have an accident? But I just looked inside and the stain is not from the interior. And so I don't know. My husband was like, well, we'll just try to get the stains out. But obviously we have to get those stains out before we sell it. So Madewell jeans can do really, really well. They can typically um, fetch, you know, anywhere between like 35 to honestly like $75 even depending on the style, depending on the size. That's a good one though. So we just got to get them cleaned up. Um, my friend Shiwon found these or this. Um, the brand is Pro Quip. This is a size extra, extra large. At first, when we saw it, we're like, is that Polo Ralph Lauren? Because it kind of has that vibe. Um, and there's just little like pieces of yarn on this. But um, it's a pullover 
kind of like a nylon-y sweater. It does have some stains on it. Um, or like, I don't know, like kind of like a windbreaker jacket almost. But there were comps for this in like the 50s. So I don't know. We'll see what we can do with that. That'll go in the stained pile. Um, okay, so you guys know if you've been watching my channel, one of my favorite things to sell, my favorite category to sell is shoes because I think there's really good return for your investment. So that's why, like, regardless of where I'm sourcing, shoes is typically the first place that I go. And actually, when we got there, um, they had us wait, like, not outside as in, like, outside, outside, but like kind of in that like lobby area, if you will, um, until they finished the rotation. There was like basically right when we got there, they were rotating through the bins. So when we got there, I think there were like fresh shoes put out. Um, but I don't know if you've ever been to the bins. There are always like kind of the same characters, <laughs> like literally on the way home, my husband and I were just kind of going through like the different people you always see at the bins. And one group of people that you'll see are people who like go to, especially the shoes bins, and they literally just grab armfuls of them and throw them in their carts and then there are people waiting for them against the wall and their job is to just sort through the shoes and a lot of times what they're doing is looking for things that they're going to send back to their home countries and so um, typically they're looking for like sandals and like warmer weather shoes because they're sending shoes to like South American countries so it's hard to find good shoes and not only that but like I talked about earlier they don't really keep the shoes together they don't like rubber band the shoes together so there are just shoes all over the place. None of the shoes are next to, you know, their partner. So it's kind of difficult. So I had basically an entire cart overfilled with shoes, the majority of which were single shoes. But I did find some decent ones and some that honestly need like a lot of work like these. So these are a pair of, I want to say vintage Sorrel's. Um, they're really, really dirty. So you can see it says Sorrel. Um, they're a really interesting, like, material like i think the exterior is more of like a nylon you can see there's a lot of dirt but these will be really easy to just kind of like hose down and honestly i'll probably just have them sit in water for a little bit other than that they're in pretty good condition um let me show you the interior so the interior it just kind of has you know this um, i'm trying to see what size these are let's see these are a size seven and i'm imagining that they're waterproof but yeah pretty sure it's like more of like a i don't know nylon -y exterior this is rubber so great for the mud <laughs> you know like if it's muddy outside um but yeah hoping i can make at least like 40 to 50 dollars on these i gotta like set these down on top of something so the dirt doesn't get all over everything and then i'll just put them back in the bag um Let's see what else I have in here. So there's more shoes coming. That's the only one in this bag. My friend Chiwon found this little number. It says Princess Polly. I don't really know anything about this. I feel like I've seen this before. Um, this is a size four. This is new with tags, which is why we got it. So it's just like a little uh, bandeau with little like sweet buttons on the front. Look at those buttons. Do you see those? Those are really cute. Um, yeah, so I thought that was really sweet. I don't think we'll make a ton for it, but it also weighed nothing. So there's that. Oh, my husband found this and I was so proud of him. So this is Lululemon. It's a size medium large. And it is basically this oversized like cardigan in kind of this, I don't know, right now it's kind of reading like tannish, brownish, yeah, I don't know. But um, it has like these buttons that you use to close the front with. And at first I was like, oh no, Mikey, I think that we're missing like a drawstring or something. But I think you really just use this, uh, you button with those holes in the front, yeah. So I don't know, a really interesting piece. It's like um, just kind of oversized. There is like a drawstring. Um, I don't know what style this is. I'm not super well versed in Lululemon, but I'm excited to look that up and see how that does. Um, hopefully it can fetch us like, you know, close to that $50 mark. Um, this is another pair of Wranglers. These are in a 30 by 30. This is what the tag looks like. And again, just kind of like a relaxed fit jean. Nothing super exciting, but you know, we'll make some money off of that. 
this <laughs> we probably didn't need to get, but I just thought it was cute. It's just Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. It's just like a little kid sweater. Um, it's a size, oh no, it's not a kid sweater. It's like a, a women's sweater. It's Disney, size extra small. Yeah, I might see if my daughter wants this. It'll be too big on her right now, but yeah, if I were to resell this, probably make like $15 on that, to be honest with you. This is Simon, like Simon says, it's just like a game. My husband was like really excited to find this, so we'll look it up. I don't know if it's worth anything, but also I think my son would have a lot of fun playing with this, so we honestly kind of got it for him. And we also got him another little game, um, not game, a little like figurine from the movie uh raya and the last dragon it's like that little guy who um is in the ship and like sells the noodles i don't remember his name but my son is obsessed with raya and the last dragon so we got him that and then i picked this up because i'm gonna list it like immediately for halloween it's just a woody um costume from uh, Toy Story. They're saying Toy Story 4. I already know my son is not going to want to be Woody because he doesn't care about that. So I'm going to just go ahead and list that. So that is the end of bag number one. We have three more to go. If you need a potty break, if you need to grab yourself a new drink, this is the time. So um, another Harley Davidson piece. This is a size extra large. It's just, you know, like a graphic tee. It's got like a flame on the front and then on the back it says suburban harley davidson this is from palatine illinois palatine is just a suburb of uh her uh not harley davidson a suburb of illinois so probably get like 15 dollars for that this is real tree size large um it is hunting season now apparently i i don't know because i don't hunt but this is just a long sleeve top that you can wear when you are hunting i have seen people wear this kind of stuff while just not hunting either just out and about like eating dinner or while they are just going to school like you don't have to hunt to wear that but um i know that's a thing for some people this is disney villains and um this is maleficent it's like a maleficent sweater i got this for my daughter because she's super into those descendants movies right now they're on disney plus and so i know one of the characters is maleficent um so i was gonna see if she wanted this it's like really fuzzy too um it's a little big but i think she would like it and if not i'll just sell it and probably make like eight dollar <laughs> so hopefully she does want that this is also for our daughter because she's in gymnastics and needs little leotard things like this for her practices um this i figure will probably sell on like facebook marketplace or something like that but it's like an embroidered cubs like a little cooler bag you know you could like pack your lunch in here um it, it is genuine merchandise so it is actually something that like you know the mlb made um i imagine it was something that you bought inside of like one of the arenas or what is it called? I don't know. The place where they play the baseball. Yeah. And it's in really good condition. So I don't know. I'll probably make like 10, 15 bucks off of that. Like I said, I'm assuming it's going to sell on Facebook marketplace. We'll see what actually happens. My husband found this. It's just a Patagonia belt. Just pretty simple. Um, probably get 10, $15 for that. I think this is another pair of Wrangler jeans. Yup. Um, this is in a size... 31 by 30 and again just kind of more of like this relaxed fit um they're really heavy duty like almost to the point where i was like are these fleece lined are they flannel lined um they're not but they're really intense okay this i believe my friend chi one found it's just like a really simple nike just do it pullover hoodie um i think it's in a size medium oh really i didn't think it was a medium that seems small for, is this a medium kids? Maybe it's a youth medium. I don't know. Regardless, it's not worth like a ton, but um, it'll sell. But I, that's gotta be a youth medium. So maybe I'll see if my daughter will wear that too. I feel like she'll say it's too tomboyish for her. <clears throat> this is a t-shirt that we got for Levi. He'll wear it in like eight years because <laughs> he's so little. But this is just Vans off the wall. We thought it was a pretty cool shirt. Um, size small, so yeah. I mean, he should be able to wear that somewhat soon. We shall see. This is a pair of cargo shorts from American Eagle. 
um, American Eagle, or really honestly like cargo shorts from almost anywhere. These are in a size 34, um, like Eddie Bauer or Abercrombie or you know any of those kinds of brands, they're gonna do pretty well. And by well, I mean like sell pretty quickly for you between like 18 and $25. Um, yeah, people love their cargo shorts. It's not something that um, is made that often anymore. And people like the kind of older styles because they have a lot of like wear to them already and you know, they just look worn in. There is um, some small marks on here and I don't know that those will come out with any sort of like stain treatment, but we'll try. We'll put it in the stained pile. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure this is vintage. It's not single stitch. And by single stitch, what that means is do you see how there's two lines of stitching here? Single stitch means that there would just be one, and that's kind of how they made t-shirts back in like the 90s, maybe even in the 80s. Um, I still think this is vintage though. So you can see the tag, it says an official Looney Tunes product. It says Sun Sportswear, this was made in Kent, Washington, 100% cotton, this is, um, sorry, made in the USA, but like Sun Sportswear, Kent, Washington, and this is a size large. Um, it's really grossly like stained, like, you know, just like sweat stains and stuff around the neckline, but look at that little Tweety bird on an American flag. <laughs> I have no idea how much something like this goes for. I feel very much like Drew from Profit Monsters picking something like this up, but I'll look it up and see. I thought it was really cute and I could not leave it behind. So there's that little number. Um, my husband found these. He said they were tactical pants. I don't know what that means, but they have this like rubber grip like um, strand. I don't know what the word for it is, but just kind of all throughout the hem of or the waistline of the pant. Um, the brand is Blackhawk Warrior Wear. Oh, he knew that they were tactical pants because it says right on there, tactical pant. So good job, Mikey. Good reading. Ultra light tactical pants. So I don't really even know what that means. If you want to educate me on what tactical pants are, please let me know. These are a size large. They're a size US 36 by 34. And they are just these black tactical pants. They have cargo pockets. They have, let's see. Oh, it's raining really hard outside. I thought they had um, like an elastic or like a drawstring on the bottom. They do not, but yeah, I'm imagining that these are meant to be worn outside while doing tactical things. I, I don't know, guys, that's not the life that I live. So I just, I really don't know. But my husband looked up comps, looked like we could get maybe like $50 for these. So I do know that I like that. I do know that much. This is from the same person, obviously, who donated the Harley Davidson button up. This is just field and stream, but it's like a vented fishing shirt. Um, ooh, I can't even see what size it is. Hopefully it says on the inside. Let's see. Um, it does not say, oh yes it does. Whew. It is an extra, extra large, which is great. Um, but yeah, just like a vented fishing shirt. I don't sell too much fishing gear, but I know that the fishing, oh, it's not vented. Yes, no, mm, mm, it's not, it's not vented, but yeah, just good for fishing or just outdoor uh, activities. So there's that. This, um, I think my friend Shiwon found and my husband saw it and he's like, ooh, that's so cool. It's just like an Air Jordan t-shirt. This is in a size large. I don't think it's like vintage or anything necessarily, but just a cool shirt. And it's a large, but it looks really small for a large. So I might have my husband try it because he seemed to be really excited about that. So there's that one. I imagine that would be probably worth like, I don't know, $15, $20. I found this and I was really, really excited. It is a Lululemon piece. And um, although the rip tag has been ripped out, I knew that it was Lululemon because one, it felt like it. And then I saw the zipper. And then also it has the little Lululemon uh, thing on the back. So it's just like a hoodie. It's got the symbol on the front, not a hoodie. What am I saying? It's a full zip, you know, jacket. It's got the, you know, do you hear that? It's raining really hard. And then let me see if the size is on the inside pocket because yes. So this is in a size four. 
you can't see that probably. If you don't have the rip tag inside of your Lululemon piece, all you gotta do is look inside the pocket or um, sometimes for like the bras, it's like on the inside where the little cup is, um, but they usually have a little size dot somewhere. My husband found these, I was so proud of him. Look at that. New with tags Carhartt. These are the Loose Original Fit Washed Duck Work Dungaree. I recently sold a pair of the washed duck pants um, not too long ago, not new with tags, for, I don't know, like $30, $40. So hopefully these will sell for a little bit more. These are size 36 by 36. Um, I don't see a retail price on them, so I don't know how much they originally retailed for, but they're in like this really, really dark blue color. Yeah, I've been finding so much Carhartt lately, which I love. And Carhartt pants, they don't really go for like a ton, but um, you know, you can get a solid $25 out of the used stuff. Ugh, there are some marks on there. So I will have to find a way to get that out without, you know, losing the tags and stuff. Cause obviously those add value to the garment. Um, I think that my friend Shiwon found this and it is Urban Outfitters, size large. Just a really cool striped hoodie. I thought that was really nice. It's got like the kangaroo pocket on the front. Yeah, so probably list this for around like $30. See what happens. Um, <laughs> found another pair of Skechers Shape Ups. Um, the last ones that I picked up sold for around $40. Um, these are in amazing condition. I mean, you can see there is some like dirt on the bottom, but the treads are in amazing shape. They're in great shape. These are work shape up. So I guess they're meant to be worn at work. They're in a size 10. The annoying thing is I can't tell if it's a 10 for men or for women. I feel like these are a men's shoe, but I will just kind of hold them up to other uh, size 10 shoes and see. This what are you? I don't remember you. Oh, okay. This is Torrid. It's a size six, which is, I don't know that I've ever seen a size six in Torrid. That means six X, but it is just this um, open front cardigan. Pretty lightweight. Probably list that for like 20 to $25. The nice thing about Torrid too, let's see if this has it. If you look at the tag, um, if you look at like the white tag underneath, it'll have the style name or like the item number, not style name item number or style number and you can just type that in you know you just type torrid and then type in the item number and you should be able to see the actual item come up on google including like stock photos and the name of the item which helps it you know which makes it a lot easier for you to list the item so that is one thing i like about torrid and um torrid can sell really well i've never picked up this brand before and i don't even know if this is like the best item by this brand. The brand is Foot Joy. That's what the um, logo looks like. It's like an F and a J. This one is easier to see. Um, and these are the Foot Joy Contour Casual. Foot Joy is like a really popular um, golf brand. The bottoms look great. Like the treads look great. There is some wear on the leather exterior, as you can see, like just some wear on the toes and stuff. But other than that, they're in really good condition. So I don't know. I thought I'd try them out. I know that um, it's a pretty sought after brand in the golf world. These are a size 10 and a half. Um, I have no idea how to price them. We'll see what happens. And then another pair of athletic shoes in here. Okay, I'm just gonna pull out one to begin with. These are a pair of snowboarding boots by the brand Burton. I have sold snowboarding boots once and they were literally from like Walmart and they still sold really fast and really well. Are these snowboarding? It says moto on the back. Does that make these moto boots? I don't know. This is what the interior looks like. I will obviously do some research, but I know that Burton is a pretty good brand. So I'm hoping that these are worth a good amount. I don't know because I obviously have not done any research. Um, and I'm also trying to figure out like where to find the size um, because I'm not seeing that anywhere oh maybe it's here mm, i don't know i don't know what the size is but i'll try to figure that out these are in really really good shape though um obviously a little bit of like exterior wear other than that though they're in great shape like you can see the bottoms 
just not that much wear on the bottoms at all. I just got to figure out what size these bad boys are, but super excited to try something new. These are pretty heavy, so I did probably have like, I don't know, close to like $6 into those, but I think that's a good price to pay for something like that. Okay, and then also I should show you, we got this at the bins too. Like we saw the new bins getting um, rolled out and we all kind of looked at each other when we saw this bag just sitting on top of one of the bins because it's like one of our favorite bags for reselling. Um, it's great to like carry packages in, it's great to transport clothes in. Like it's a really great bag. So if you are um, in need of a good bag that's not like an Ikea bag, it's the Panera catering bag is what it is. So um, that was exciting to pick up another one of those. Okay, bag number three. So this is a top by Fabletics, which honestly, I don't pick up that much. Fabletics is that like um, athletic line. They do have stores like at the mall, but also it's like a subscription service type uh, brand where you pay a monthly fee and they send you like outfits and stuff. Um, but this was a really cute turtleneck. My husband found it super lightweight. And um, yeah, so I think probably get at least $20 for this, hopefully. My leg is asleep because I've been sitting crisscross applesauce for so long. Okay, so I said at the very beginning of the haul that I was pretty excited because we did find some like jackets and stuff. Nothing like amazing, no amazing brands. It's not like we found like Montclair or anything, but like stuff that'll, you know, sell, especially given the season. This is Black Dot by Pacific Trail. It's not anything amazing, but I think I should be able to get like $30, $40 out of this. It's a men's size medium. It is waterproof. It's breathable. It's got a hood. It's in this like green color. Um, yeah. So, you know, I'll make money off of it for sure. Hopefully something like this sells on Poshmark because um, shipping on eBay for something like that will be really annoying. Here's another jacket. This is a women's piece. This is Banana Republic. It's a size medium and it is made of like a recycled wool blend. So it's just this really nice black and white, uh, like pea coat. Yeah. It's got a belt and it's in really great shape. So it's a little bit longer of a length. Again, this is the perfect season for something like this. There is some pilling to it. So I will have to take like a sweater shaver to it and do some work, but um, it shouldn't be too bad. And I'll probably try to list something like this for around at least $50. It's a nice jacket. Um, another jacket, this is just American Eagle. Um, this is a size extra, extra large, which is great. This is a great casual like utility jacket. Let me zip it up and you can see um for men and it's in a great kind of like olive green khaki -ish color the zipper is a little bit messed up let's see if it zips i did not check that okay it does zip although it's a little bit messed up um so this is what it looks like great like you know everyday jacket for someone probably list this for i don't know i don't know what the comps are on this but i'm assuming anywhere between like 30 to 40 dollars um, again, super heavy, so I'm hoping that that sells on Poshmark. Um, here's another jacket. Again, I did not know this brand. It is Rawick, R-A-W-I-K, and then it just says Endurance. Um, I looked it up, looked like it was going for, again, kind of like that $40 mark, um, size large. Just again, a really great like, actually this is like a snowboarding jacket, but it wasn't going for a ton. Um, but it's like this yellow color. It's got these big pockets for like your gloves and stuff. Um, it's got all these zippers and vented um, places. Nice, big, heavy duty jacket. Um, not going for a ton, but you know, people who do the skiing and snowboarding and need all that stuff, especially if they're just like going for the first time, um, something like that on eBay much better than paying retail for it. Um, I was really excited to find this brand because I heard that it basically sells like instantaneously. Unfortunately, it's not a men's piece, it's a kid's piece, but the brand is Sims. I've heard that this is an amazing brand. I believe it's fishing, like fishing gear. Um, it is really well made. This is a, 
Yes, Sims Fishing Products. This is a size small, and I believe it's a youth size small. And it is just like a quarter zip pullover in like this uh, moisture wicking material. It's in really, really great shape. I found it while I was super frustrated at the shoe situation of just like not being able to find that on Cloud and Hoka Mate. Um, and this was like in the bin next over. It was actually a bin filled with like hard goods and it was where some people were throwing back some of their shoes. So I was really surprised to just find this like lying on top of all this stuff. Um, couldn't find anything wrong with it. Excited about it. I have no idea what comps are, but we'll see. Um, this kind of thing I will pick up, but I will not pick it up at like a regular Goodwill if I have to pay Goodwill prices for it because I, I know that I'm going to have to sit on this kind of stuff. It will sell and it'll sell for a decent amount. So this is um, NFL. This is an extra, extra large. However, I think it's extra, extra large kids. Let's see. Or women's. I don't know, but it's like a pullover. I don't, I don't think it's an extra, extra large men's. I don't know. We'll see. But it's a Colts, like, pullover jacket, if you will. Again, kind of like more of like a windbreaker type thing. Um, and on the back, it has the big horseshoe. But yeah. Something like this. You know, you're limiting yourself to a smaller group of people in the world who would want something like this. Um and then you're limiting yourself to the size and all that kind of stuff. So it's a hard sell. It's a long tail item. It will move. And maybe something like that will sell like in the holiday season as like a gift or something like that. Who knows, right? All right. The last bag, believe it or not, we are on the last bag, is all shoes. So um, I'm going to show you stuff and throw it into other bags as we go so as to not mess up the carpet in front of me. So there were a ton of Crocs at this bins. I just couldn't find the mates to the majority of them. So I did find these. These are brown Crocs. They are lined and the lining is like basically all matted down, but they're not in like horrible condition. I did actually throw some back because they were just in such rough condition that I was like, I don't know that it's worth it. These are a size uh, let's see, women's size eight, men's size six, just brown. You know, they're great for people who like work in, uh, you know, like as they're great for people who are on their feet all day. They're just really comfortable. Um, I will have to like wipe them down. I know that some people just throw them in the wash. I'm too scared to do that. And also because of the matting on the inside, I don't know, but there's those. I'll probably list those for like 25. Um, I don't know where the pair of that is right now. This is a pair of dance goes and these are like teeny tiny. Like I'm pretty sure I could fit these. So I'm sure that I'm going to be sitting on these for a while, but I did like that they were um, just kind of like a slide on and they have kind of this like woven leather um, upper. They're in a size 37. I don't know what that um, conversion is. I want to say it's like a five and a half maybe, but yeah, probably list these for around 40. Um... My friend Chiwon found these. They're just these really cute like uh, Air Jordans from Nike for kids. Look at how cute. They have this little like Velcro strap, acro Velcro strap across the top. Um, they're like high tops. They're pretty lightweight. And they've got the Jordan on the back. These are a youth size too. So I thought those were really darling. Um, she did a good job on those. I don't know how much these go for. We'll have to look them up and see. This is a pair of Converse. I totally forgot already. There is a specific name for this style with like the elastic back. I just sold a pair um, in a gray color that I got at the Seattle bins. And I believe those sold for like $20 to $25. So I'll just have to look up my old listing and see what this style is called. It has something to do with like the beach or the ocean or something like that um but these are in like a white color or like a maybe not like white but like a cream ivory color and they're in pretty good shape like there's some stains and stuff but they're not bad like you know usually white shoes are like disgusting these are a size nine and a half so excited about those um these are just kids like snow boots which i know have been selling really well especially as people get ready for the winter months these are not like a great brand or anything i think the brand is literally just called weatherproof but i'll probably still list these for like 15 20 dollars because these are expensive to get retail for kids who are just going to grow these are a size four and 
look at what great condition they're in. Yeah, so we'll see how those do. Okay, here we go with our single shoes. I only got two, and I only got them because they're great brands and because the shoes themselves were in great condition. These, well, these are not in the greatest condition now that I'm looking at them closely, but these are on cloud. Um, this has been on my bucket list of shoes to find for a long time because they resell ridiculously well. They are a Swiss shoe. It says Swiss engineering right there. Um, and they retail for a ton. They resell for a ton. I could not find this partner anywhere. I couldn't find its mate anywhere. And I was so sad. I like told my husband and she wanted to look for these, uh, for, to look for the mate. We just could not. So I got the one shoe. Um, these are in a men's 11. The reason why some people will sell single shoes is because, um, you know, there are amputees, people who only have one leg or one foot. Um, so if they can buy just one shoe for cheaper than having to buy, you know, two shoes, um, that's great for them. These do have like the beginnings of holes at the top, which is probably why they got donated in the first place. Um, and then they're also good for people who maybe like they have this shoe, but they lost one, you know, side, maybe like their dog chewed it up or something like that. So I'll just be very specific in the listing. I'll say, you know, one shoe only or like right shoe only. And I'll put it like in all caps in the description. Um, but I'm going to probably list even just this one shoe for like at least $20, $25 and see what happens. Isn't that crazy that people can do that? Um, let me start a new bag here. This is the other shoe that I got just one of. This is a Hoka. Hokas are such great shoes. Um, they, again, are super expensive, both retail and resell. This is a little bit smaller of a size. Let's see. This is a size seven and a half. Um, but they're in amazing condition. Look at that. So hopefully someone just needs the one shoe. And again, I'll probably list this for like 20 to 25. And then we've got just a couple more things. This is a pair of boots and the brand is Matterhorn. I have not looked this up yet, but I got them because they have Gore-Tex, which means that they're waterproof and they look like a really great um work boot um they lace up obviously 10 i think it is 10 and a half um i will probably list these pretty high though this is what they look like even though there is some wear to them obviously they have been worn but i don't know probably list them for at least 75 dollars if not more and hope to do well on those and then and I don't know, maybe I'll look up pumps and realize that they're worth like a gazillion dollars, which would be really exciting. This one, I don't really know the brand, but it's Okabashi. I feel like I've maybe sold one thing by this brand before. Um, they just look like Crocs and they're really cute. They're like really little. Um, they are machine washable. And so I picked them up. We'll see how they do. Um, uh oh, maybe these broken. I don't know if they're broken, but I feel like this button clasp thing. I feel like it came off. I don't know. We'll see if I can fix it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much to list these for, but there's that. Um, This is another pair of boots similar to the Matterhorns. However, I am missing the lace on one of them. So I have to go get laces for these or just sell them laceless. So this is the brand Thoroughgood. And you can see like the tongue of this one is kind of crazy and messed up. Other than that, like, this is in decent shape. They're just really dirty. They need, like, a good wipe down. So, let's see. I believe these had... Why did I get these? There was, like, a reason. I wanted to... I thought they had, like, a vibrant sole. They are made in the USA. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else. Maybe they're not as good as I thought they would be. So, they're a size 13. Safety footwear. These are safety footwear. I don't know. I'm, I thought there was like a Byram sole on these, but apparently not. So yeah, I don't know how much these are worth. I have to get new laces or just sell them laceless. They need a good cleaning. Maybe they were not the best pickup. They are very, very heavy. We shall see. And then the very last thing that I got, um, and we have to test it out, is this 
um, DVD VCR combo. It's by the brand Philips. My husband looked up comps for it and it looked like it was going for like 15, I sorry, it looked like it was going for like 50 to $150. Um, you know, I've just heard that these combos can do really well. So when I saw it, I was like, eh, we may as well try it out. There is something rattling on the inside, which is never a good sign. You know, it does need to get tested and my husband is pretty confident that we have like the wires and all the stuff in the back that we would need to test it out. Um, my friend Chiwon has some VHSs at her house. The top needs a good wipe down. You know, I think just some Goo Gone will do the trick. Um, they had a price at $14.99 at the Goodwill. It did not sell for that much. Um, I probably paid $5 for this. So even if I only get, you know, the lower end of comps, which is like 50, not bad. So I am excited to try this out because I have not done anything with this kind of stuff before, like these kinds of electronics. So we'll see how that does. And hopefully I make a pretty penny on that. So yeah, I spent a hundred four dollars once you take into account the ten dollars that i made at the bins honestly i think like some of just the boots like maybe if i sell two pairs of these boots i think that it'll pay for the entire haul which is amazing and that means everything else is pure profit um there are some lower end items in here and i'm trying to stay away from those kinds of things but typically i only picked up lower end items if i felt like they would sell pretty quick so yeah there are some things that i'm super duper excited about and a lot of things that i think are just perfect for the season that we're in um you know really excited to have finally found the sims brand i'm excited about some of these vintage pieces i don't know how they'll do and i swear like i just keep finding things that make me want to go ahead and start a depop store but i i just don't know if i have the energy for that so that is my haul for today if you guys enjoyed it i'd really super duper appreciate it if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button because it helps other people find this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and feel like you would continue to find value in my channel and my content then definitely hit that subscribe button on your way out i hope you guys are sourcing a lot of really great stuff more importantly i hope you're listing the stuff that you're sourcing because you know all of this stuff as great as it may be it does me no good sitting here in my dining room that's where i am i'm in my dining room it does me no good sitting here so i have to get this stuff listed you need to get your stuff listed here's your kick in the butt if you needed one that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye